Our next speaker is an associate professor of civil and environmental engineering and currently serves as interim chair to the advisory board of the Fresh Start Clubhouse, which is an organization that supports persons with a severe mental illness in Washtenaw County. Please welcome Ann Jeffers. So when I saw the call for presentations for Ignite Ann Arbor, I felt compelled to submit something on mental health. Um, mental health is something that's very important to me uh, personally, um, but I also feel that it's something that we're not talking enough about. Um, so like many of you, I am a person who wears many hats. Uh, I'm a professor, I'm an engineer, I'm a writer, I'm a teacher, I'm a mother, so many things. Um, this presentation is given from the part of me that has mental illness. Um, so five years ago, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, which is a mood disorder that's characterized by highs and lows that are referred to as mania and depression. And I'll tell you a little bit about what it feels like to me. So when I'm manic, sometimes I just wake up with a brilliant idea and I start deriving the mathematical formulation and I write the code and I start running simulations and I write a 20 page paper and I submit it to a, a journal and it gets accepted with only minor revisions. And I do all of this in the same week that I'm teaching my classes and I'm meeting with um, students and other colleagues. And by the way, did I mention I happen to paint my bedroom that week as well? So it's just really, really intense. Um, and so when I'm manic, um, I am on fire. And uh, that fire um, can sometimes be really productive and really helpful. Um, but most people with bipolar disorder will tell you that um, if you get too close to the fire, then you're likely to get burned. Um, there's a downside to the illness as well, which is the depression. Um, and for me, depression looks a lot like this picture here, um, where uh, you know, when I'm manic, I'm a superstar and I'm able to do anything. And when I'm depressed, I am a complete failure. Now, I want to tell you a story of hope. And I want to offer my story to give you um, some sense that there is a way out. Um, for me, five years ago, I started seeking treatment. And um, uh, things started to get better. Um, and so I want to kind of share some of the stuff that I've learned along the way so that it may help one of you or maybe somebody that you love. Um, so um, along this journey, uh, one of the things that I've learned, and it's been one of the hardest um, uh, things to, to understand, is that um, I, needed, I, needed, I found that I needed to put myself first in my life. Um, and so there's a lot of talk in the mental health field about um, self-care. And so for me, that was something that was just completely foreign to me. Um, so here are some things that I'm trying to do to um, take care of myself. And they might seem very basic, and they are very basic, but making sure that I'm eating well, making sure that I'm staying hydrated, making sure I'm sleeping, um, and also trying to reduce the stressors in my life. Um, another thing that I've learned is to be more compassionate towards others. Um, mental illness is, it tends to be a, a silent illness. Um, and so people, you, you can't identify somebody with mental illness just by looking at them, right? Um, and so being more understanding of people who may be struggling. Um, I've also found that having bipolar disorder makes me a little bit of a risk taker. Um, and that sometimes can be a good thing. Um, for example, um, you'll never learn how to uh, fly if you've never taken that leap. Um, so this picture here is actually a picture of something that I did while taking a leap professionally. I started a student organization at the University of Michigan called Bridges of Prosperity, which is building pedestrian bridges in developing countries. Um, I've also learned that having uh, mental illness um, means that I also have limitations, and I need to um, acknowledge those and um, accept those in, in terms of what I plan to do in my life. Um, and another thing as well is that I've also found that it's important to give back to the community. And I do this through my volunteering with Fresh Start Clubhouse here in Ann Arbor, which is an organization that helps people with mental illness. Check them out, absolutely. Um, and then also um, having mental illness has taught me that uh, it's not something that you can do by yourself. And so it's important that you connect with other people. And I've been able to reach out to friends and family members and things like that. Um, and so if you've, anybody in this room happens to feel like they're um, struggling with mental illness, um, don't be afraid to ask for help. And these are some things that I did when I was getting started out. Um, my last piece of advice is to love life and be brave. Um, I take this um, phrase 
from a bracelet that I wear on my wrist every day that reminds me that I need to um, stay in touch and I need to, to continue to love life. Um, so with that, um, I hope you have found some value in these words. Um, I want to thank you for listening. Feel free to send me an email or to stop me at the break um, if you want to continue the conversation. Thank you, Anne.